the shoes. Oh my God. Good afternoon, we are in Paris. We have arrived. We actually went straight to sleep because we just felt like we needed it. But we are ready now, we're going out. I have a meeting at four o'clock and then after that we're free as a bird. So before that I'm gonna pop into Saint Laurent because I usually wait until I'm in Europe before I go there. So apart from those shoes which I really needed when I was in New York so I had some emergency kind of buy those. But we're here. I'm gonna put you down somewhere so you can actually see me properly. Let me see. Let me see. Wait, let me see. Where can I put you? Can I put you here? Should I put you here? I'm gonna put you here. It's not the right place, but I'll put you here for now. So, yeah, so we slept, got ready, heading out. My nose is still running, so I still got issues with that. It's a little bit cloudy outside, but it's not as um cold as it is in New York, which is good. I'm so sorry, I'm still getting over this cold. It's on its last legs though. So I'm wearing all black. This is an old uh, knit that I have. Underneath I've got a t-shirt, uh, wearing my usual men's cargoes. And this is a Saint Laurent jacket, a little bit of a red lippy. I literally picked this up the other day, this week in Sephora in New York. I kind of like the color. It's sort of like a, it's coming up brighter on the screen, but it's more like a sort of Oh, almost like a purple but very matte color and I really like it so I've got that on and that's it that's my lot that's that's what she wrote today so we're heading out we're going to grab a scooter and head out we love going out in scooters and I'll show you a little bit what it's like but we love it it's such a cool way to see Paris anyway I'll talk to you later so we are done for my meeting and now I'm heading to we're gonna pick up the scooter yeah, we're gonna get a scoot. Oh, is it this? No, that's the one we just left. No, but actually, I should check and see if that one's empty. Oh, but it's not. It's empty. Remember, it's like twenty percent. Oh, or that's probably why it's dead. Yeah. So that's what we've been doing to get around, which is <laughs> that was our old one that we left behind. <laughs> that is right. So we're looking for another one. We're actually loving doing the whole scooters during Fashion Week. Different story because I have outfits. Usually, I've got to change in the car. Um, but that would be exciting to see. Outside of this, I don't have any scooter. outfits. I'm changing. <laughs> it's just like normal time, so it's fun. It really is. I highly recommend anyone do this. It is Saturday and we are heading to Le Marais. It is one of our favorite areas in Paris. So we're gonna head to a nice piece of vintage. It's my favorite vintage shop. You know on my channel, you know my channel. You know I love like, popping in there when I'm here. So we're gonna go there and there's another, there's a couple more vintage places I wanna pop into. I need to also, yeah, just do a couple of things as well, but I'll take you around with me for this day. It's a beautiful day in Paris. Let me clear my throat. <laughs> <laughs> it's gorgeous today. It's like blue skies. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and we are about to get on the bike. Get on the scooter and get out of here. So today was a day of like vintage shopping. For me. Paul Michael was coming around. We're in Le Marais, which we love. We're eating at our Cafe Charlotte, which is one of our favorite places to eat. It's Karen's favorite chicken salad. Yeah, they do this, this. I've had this in other places and they do it the best here. So I'm having that. Um, I picked up a gorgeous leather jacket. I love it and it's brown. Yeah, it's cool. I'm actually gonna add big shoulder pads to it. And just to give it more structure, kind of like these kind of shoulder pads, so like rounded for a nice kind of like 80s vibe. It's it's perfect. It's and it was 90 euros. There you go. So 
I love I love shopping the way I shop because I was in Saleron yesterday and I bought two bags. I bought, bought, bought a clutch and I bought that handbag, that glossy finish in both of them. And then here I am today, the following day in Le Marais, going to Vintage Shop and buying a $90 chocolate brown leather jacket. That to me is what style is about. It's about shopping everywhere and putting together clothes in like everywhere and anywhere you can find it. I think that's what it really is about. So if you can do that, then you are, then you're good. Yeah, so Michael's got a burger, typical American. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, we're just loving it. It's, uh, what time is it? It's around six o'clock um, and it's not really getting dark yet. Let me see, let me see, let me see. It is, wow, look at that time. It's exactly 6 p.m. Yep. And it's not even that dark, look. Look, out, look outside, you can see, it's just, it's great. It's not really, I think in New York by six o'clock it's dark, but I find in Europe it gets darker later than it does compared to New York. Right. This, I've noticed that. Like Paris. And it doesn't get dark, dark. It just no, gets like, just oh, like, yeah. Darker? Explain it. Yeah, darker. It just gets darker. But it doesn't get like dark, dark. Like 11, I remember it was like this at 11 o'clock at night. Do you remember once? And I was like, oh, it's 11 o'clock at night. And everyone was outside just like this in Paris. But it's so, it's so unusual. Anyway, I'm going to finish eating because I love this. This is Cafe Charlotte, by the way. Love this place. It's so cool. Highly recommend. And just walk around here. The vintage shops are amazing. If you go down that street there, that is where nice piece of vintage is. Let's just walk in a straight line. So come to Cafe Charlotte first to eat and just walk straight down there and you will run into a nice piece of vintage or just type in on in like maps on your phone and it'll take you straight to it. And just that whole area, it's like a loop, like a block. Walk around it and you'll see nothing but back to back to back to back to back vintage shops. Anyway, done, talk to you later, bye. Hello, it's Sunday. The day before we leave uh, Paris, we're going to Milan tomorrow and it's been raining today this morning was just a very productive day actually we're going to go across this way let's see if we can cross by the way hermes is right here look there's the flagship right there <laughs> it's closed on a sunday but i love the windows that they got like the displays like this it's quite interesting i'm not sure are they going to be doing this like like i wonder if they've got something they're doing at the moment well they were renovating all the window displays. Remember that last night? Oh, they're renovating. Not renovating, but doing all the window displays. Look, you could see right here that they've, um, this is empty. Oh, they're right. Designing. It's on the other side. All they do is just flip it around when it's done. Oh, okay. So just saw how he looks at the moment. Okay, so this is the street. As you can see, there's new Chanel across the street. Um, behind us is uh, Bottega, Prada, Miu Miu, Gucci, Loro Piana, Montclair <laughs> and this is Givenchy on the side here. We're actually heading back to the hotel in the moment but um, today was pretty pr productive because I've been up literally since seven o'clock this morning. Yes. We shot two campaigns, got that done and then now we are, oh by the way this is the new bag, the new Saleron bag. <laughs> this is the one I, I don't know if I even showed it to you on this on my YouTube but I was showing it a lot on my uh, TikTok and my Instagram stories and they ended up caving on getting this bag and I love I absolutely love it. The colour is absolutely beautiful. So right now we're just heading to one more store and then we're heading back to the hotel, chill out, relax. Believe it or not, we both still have a cold, which is unbelievable. We still have it. But we have all our medicine with us. And then we're packing tonight and tomorrow is Milan. Oh, we're going for dinner tonight though with a friend who lives here. So that's gonna be cool. And then we're gonna be going to Milan tomorrow anyway i'm gonna stop waffling but i will see you later bye <laughs> We are in Ancona, Ancona. Ancona in oh, Italy. Gorgeous. So we literally took a plane early this morning, nine o'clock flight from Paris to Italy. Then we checked, we didn't check in, but we went to our hotel where we'll be checking in actually tomorrow night, left most of our luggage, took a train, 
to where we are now and then we took a car ride from the train the train was a three hour ride to where we are now um, i'm here doing a project with todd's and yeah the shoot is actually gonna be tomorrow hair and makeup's gonna be early like the crack of dawn like 6 6 a.m which means i have to get up at like five but we're gonna do a tour because we literally just checked into the hotel we leave tomorrow afternoon this is the door obviously where you come in and then we have like a little apartment look at that right and they've got like a little kitchen area here well, kitchen oh but look you can like open up I love that. Oh, they even had a little stove as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a little stove. Yeah. A little hot stove there. So, <clears throat> you come round, there's my bag on the table. Still haven't found a tote bag for travelling, but there you go. I put my, I did the Russian doll, so I've got like the Birkin inside and then there's a Kelly inside of that. But this is the apartment uh, living room. As you come in, and if you go straight through, we're actually beachfront, which I didn't even realize. <laughs> but if you go through there, can't really see because of reflections right now, but there, it looks like well, you'd think we're in Miami because there's actually palm trees out there. You can see cars yeah. going back and forth. And behind the cars is the sea, is the mm -hmm. ocean. So that's quite interesting. And then you go through here, and this is our bedroom, bedroom here. By the way, they only thought it was going to be myself. So they've made, they furnished the apartment just for me. But that's fine. We'll be fine. We got dinner yes. with the team at, um, there's our, some of our pieces, at 8.30. So we've got about half an hour break. And here's the bathroom. Toilet is over there. And then got a standalone tub, which is lovely. And the two sinks. It's great. And yes, I changed my hair. And I'm going to change it again for the shoot. So you're going to see lots of different <laughs> versions of me. So I don't know if we have a full length mirror in here yet, but right now I traveled wearing my YSL burgundy jacket. I got this since, I've had this for a year, I think. Or was it July? I can't remember, but I've had it for a bit. And then got my jumper underneath. And I have on my usual GUs I like to travel with. So I've got those. And my also my travel with my orange, I think the Adidas Connect um, collaboration with Farfetch sneakers. So I got those on, and I still got a little bit of a cold. I'm getting over. It's, it's almost gone. I mean, you can't even really hear it so much in my voice. So there's no blocked nose or anything. But I knew, I know I still have it because when the plane was descending this morning, my ears were like filling up. So I, you know. Anyway, so that's that. So I'm looking forward to like hanging out. Oh, but they put two bathrobes in. So. I guess they knew, they must have like just done it at the last minute. Either that or they think I have an Italian lover. <laughs> I would be your Italian lover. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, and then a shower. All right, so that's it. We're gonna like hang out and then uh, have dinner later. I remember she was having difficulties herself closing it. She closed it, she kind of put her foot there. It's so weird. No, no, I can see it's not doing it. Hair and makeup, guys, hair and makeup. See, this is it. <laughs> walking dead, people, walking dead. I am done. Um, and we're heading out now. Uh, hair and makeup is coming with us. Michael is here. <laughs> but anyway, back to the big hair. What do you think? It's been a while. It's been a minute. I love how you can like transform yourself just from your hair. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Hi. So we are on the train heading back from Ancora, 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 back to Milan. It's a three-hour train ride. And what? And Kona. So, yeah, that. <laughs> Beautiful, really lovely location. Shoot is done. And yeah, so we're just getting the train back to Milan. First day of New York Fashion Week. New York. Wow, that was a Freudian slip. But Milan Fashion Week will start tomorrow where I have a show. So it's going to be one of those days. It's 
going to hit the ground running. There's already pieces for me in the hotel room. They've already told me, so I'll sort out my outfits tonight in the hotel. We haven't even seen our room, by the way, because we went straight from Paris to this project to shoot. So we're actually going to see our room when we go back now. I'm going to switch you around so you can see the carriage when we're on. It's nice and empty. Here's Michael. He's kind of like all toasty, covered up and we can see through there but the, um, the water is behind the buildings you probably can't see anything right but anyway behind the buildings outside is water so it's the ocean so it's quite nice but yeah look at the big hair it's cool so i have like got another sort of option oh look the water look 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 arrived at our hotel in Milan. I'm going to spin you around so you can see. Oh, so before we get messed up, it gets messed up. So we love the size. It's perfect, actually. This is our luggage right here. Just got in bed. It's a quick tour, basically, before it turns into a, I don't know, just a, com a complete mess. Exactly. Obviously, it's where our, well, it's a little area here to hang my things. There is a full length mirror here which is great, love that. And then around to see the bathroom, which is great, I love the light as well. Two sinks, hello, right here. And then behind is the shower. And then you've got a toilet on this side and a bidet on the other side, just in there. But it's great, I love how bright it is actually in this room. Sorry about that, spinning you around like that. So yeah, so that's good. Um, and obviously like that, there's a full length mirror, so you can do an outfit check before you leave. But that's it, so. We're gonna unpack and get settled in. And Michael's gonna put his feet up. Same. Okay, so I was just going through the packages that came in for shows coming up. And I just took, I haven't even seen the dress, but for Roberto Cavalli, which is tomorrow evening. Look at the shoes. Oh my God. These are epic. Look at that platform. Oh, it's absolutely massive oh, oh God. sorry i just had to quickly show you these um yeah i'm going to get to the dress now but i just wanted to get you a peek of the shoes because i just thought they were amazing and i slipped them on they are a bit too small but I, I just i just quickly had to show you these good morning everyone okay so first day of milan fashion week why are you crooked it should be like that sorry about that so i've still kept the big hair from the shoot that i did yesterday um, this whole look really is from Iceberg, except the tie. So they loaned me this jacket, a matching pair of shorts, like sort of half short Bermuda shorts, and these heels that says Iceberg in metallic silver down the foot, and they have a metallic silver heel. So I played off of that silver with my Bao Bao Izzy Miyaki bag, and that's kind of going to be the look. Um, I do have a pair of sunglasses, which I may or may not put on. So the rattling is my capsules in my bag, my vitamin capsules. And that's kind of going to be it. This whole look. <laughs> I'll see you later at the show. <laughs> iceberg show and it was really really good I loved it I loved it, it was like colors with edge that's why I look at it right now I'm going to Gucci speaking of colors because I have a pair of Gucci loafers and the black and I love them and they have them this other color which is the color um, that's currently um, being promoted by Gucci I'll put it on the screen um, but I'm going to the Gucci store now because I've always you know how I love like a burgundy color and I'm going to get these loafers in burgundy. I already own these loafers in black. It's just a classic horse fit loafer and I've had them for years and they're amazing. I've literally just started wearing them again. 
and I'm getting them in this burgundy because it's going to go so perfectly with my Kelly, the burgundy, the Rouge Ash Vintage Kelly, and also my Bottega, and also my Salon jacket, and also my, I have so many burgundy things, and this is just going to complete it. Not even complete it, but it's just going to be another one to add because I just, I'm obsessed with this colour. Anyway, I'm going to go in now. This is half of what I wore for the Iceberg show. I literally got changed into my own sneakers and my own vinyl trousers, and I've got my usual Bow Bow bag. But um, yes, I'm going to go in now and get them because they're selling out apparently, and um, you know how that means you've got to get your colour now before the rest of Fashion Week takes them. <music> Hello! The Delcor show was fantastic. My first time going. Absolutely fun. It was just brilliant. I loved it. It was very much like, oh, you wasn't there. It was all, it felt like very futuristic as well. Corsetry, built in quarters, corsetry. Really good layering technique ideas as well. Um, I think this is one of those up, one of those designers to watch. He's that good. Wow. Yeah, definitely. So, so I'm glad I saw, I saw him now blown away really really good i went live on my instagram stories so i actually missed recording a large part of the show oh this rental car is ridiculous because i was on live so once i came off of live you know i only managed to actually record with my phone some of what i was seeing but anyway it was great i loved it oh there's samantha and i will see you guys later I feel like a nurse, by the way, in this outfit, but, you know. She doesn't look like one. <laughs> and did you see the shit? I don't think they saw... Oh, I didn't get to do an outfit of the day. No. Oh, so... Oh, say did hi. Did you say hello? I did. I didn't get to do... Oh, okay, then it's okay. Um, I didn't get to do... Hello? No. I, I didn't get to do an... <laughs> I didn't get to do an outfit of the day to show you these shoes on. Like, even to, like... We need to... Okay, we're going to have to, like, pull over, because I need to do, like, OOTD so you can see this whole look together. But anyway, I'm kind of like talking out loud now. Bye. <laughs>
Um, today I also pick up a pair of shoes that I picked up, for, I bought from Gucci. I pre-ordered them. The sizes have been selling out in uh, the Ancora colour, which is at Burgundy. You know how much I love Burgundy. So they had to order them in and they're in whilst I've still been in Milan. So I'm going to get them today. It's so funny, I'm wearing my Gucci shoes today, my um, the same ones but in the black. So I've got those on. And this is from Lily Silk. And my bomber behind me, my pro cropped one, is from... I mean, I'll show you, you can't see. You'll see when oh, I get out. Look at the Louis Vuitton ad. Oh, yeah. There's so many fashion ads around Paris and Milan. Yeah, it's cool. Um, and I always wonder, is it because of Fashion Week, at least in Milan? Because they're everywhere. Can you see that big one there? And they're just, just everywhere. And it's, um, it's like they're branding the whole city for Fashion Week. Anyway, I'll take you with me for the fittings. So I'm in the fitting room for ballet. Um, a lot of the pieces are sample sizes from literally the models from the runway, so I couldn't really fit into those. So I just picked what I think might fit me. So we got this knit set. So it's like a dress, sleeveless dress with this underneath it, and I can change that what's underneath it if I want. So there's this, and a matching coat with it. So can you imagine that with like, um, like long boots or something or something or ankle boots something chunky and then I love this set a lot it's leather the colors coming off yellow on camera it's much more of a, a darker brown like chocolate but it looks almost yellow on camera which is weird but there's a skirt look at that it's edgy right but this one hoping will fit me the jacket will fit it's all about the skirt will this fit me <laughs> just literally been raining the entire day in Milan so I went to presentations today and it's just it's been soaked and went to fittings as well for shows Todd's show is in the morning and I still don't have my look yet and it's about 9 30 ish nine o'clock something like that and the show is at like 9 30 tomorrow morning and I don't have my outfit <laughs> um they're supposed to be sending it, which they will. I know They'll they will. They'll send it. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Worst case, I'll just wear something of my own, obviously. But yeah, so we're just going to leave. I told the hotel to just, you know, call at any time of the night, you know, and just to bring it up. So anyway, this is um, the double J that I'm wearing. It's a beautiful coat that they loaned to me. It's in gorgeous, beautiful green color. And I just love the trim on it. Because the Double J, as you know, is known for their prints. And I've worn them for quite a, like, what, a good couple of years now. Mainly their dresses is what I wear. But this coat is adorable, isn't it? And I'm wearing it with my Rotate vinyl trousers. And um, just my Alexander Wang, you know, the, the chunky loafers. Because I like the silhouette of something slim. And then something, you know, just to contrast with the shape of the coat, which has this almost sort of, sort of swing A-line cut to it. I think it's adorable though. Really, really cool, right? So easy to wear and it's great, especially for now because, I'll talk to you in here, because the weather is, you know, it's been raining, like I said, all day. So it's nice to be able to put something on that's so like cheerful, even though the weather's crap. But yeah, it's just been nice and um, just to be out and just to, you know, feel stylish, even though it's raining, I think that's great. Brought the umbrella in, it's in the shower, because it was just absolutely, that was chucking it down. Right, so tonight I'm going to catch up on some content to post. Um, not too much, so that's good. And I'm going to just hang out, I'm going to put the TV on, listen to some uh, Milanese television, and sit up in bed and just do that, and just have something to drink, and that's it really. The hair is hairy though, right? The big hair. 
do love it. And the only thing is, like I said, is the color. I love the color in certain lights. Like probably in this bathroom, it looks great. But I just think that it just needs a little bit more blending. Maybe on camera, it looks blended, but in person, it's a little bit more streaky. And I'd like it to be a bit more of a one color. So um, I'm probably gonna get that done. But apart from that, love it. I love how full it is. It's just such a cool way to do something so dramatic. I just love playing with hair in general. Anyway, I'm just gonna stop waffling. <laughs> Well, hello. Guess who we've got riding behind? What's up? Bye. You never know who might jump in your car. We literally jumped in our it's car. It's like, Kara, can you give us a ride? <laughs> <laughs> Open the door without letting her our answer. Our car cancel. We're like, please give us a ride. <laughs> We're all going to the same show, so it's great. Exactly. This is what's the good thing about it. When you're staying at the same place and it's, it's like, nice. hey, where are you guys going? Are you going to Todd's? So <laughs> here we are. Here we are. You just never know. And you. it's raining. Look outside. But there you go. Never mind. We will we'll make the best of it. by the way it's um saturday it's the last day of milan fashion week i have two shows first one is ferrari so i'm wearing ferrari except this this jumper is my own from cos i love it i'll link this below because i have it in a couple of colors and it's just a lifesaver it's a little semi sheer but it works perfectly and it stays up um i'm wearing this bronze kind of coppered colored two-piece but I'm kind of gonna try and tuck it to sort of look like a jumpsuit. It's difficult because this is cropped, so it's not as easy as it, you know, it's not gonna stay in. It kind of pops out all the time. I'm trying to, that's the look. And I also have this red Ferrari bag and then these sunglasses from them, which is very kind of, I don't know, edgy, sort of. Very Milan, I think. Anyway, that's my look and I put some red lipstick on. I wasn't sure, but the last minute I just bung it on. Anyway, I'll talk to you later and um, yeah. So the Ferrari show just ended and this is what I'm wearing for Ferrari basically head to toe Ferrari, uh, except the shoes, but the rest is. So it's this gorgeous, it's actually a two piece, but I kind of tucked in the crop top to sort of look like a jumpsuit. I'm in the streets of Milan, as you can see from behind. Look at this. This is Milan, it's fantastic. I love the fact that by the way, you see the train tracks right here and the cars and the trains or trams share the same road. I know, it's really cool. I love the way they do it. They actually managed to do it very, very well. So. Anyway, it's cool. Um, what else? Yes, so the show was fantastic. This is my own red uh, jumper underneath, but the bag is Ferrari. You know I already have this as well in a burgundy wine color. So for they loaned me for the show in this gorgeous kind of lipstick red, um, and it really picks up, I think, on the jumper and the two-piece from Ferrari. And this is gorgeous, like a crushed satin silk material, which is so cool, I love it. Anyway, the show was amazing. It was very, very edgy modern super contemporary there was no patterns at all it was all about the fabric and the technicality of the fabric because i know that ferrari they've told me that they use um, elements of cars in terms of weaving into the actual fabric as well so the technology they use behind their uh, materials is is fascinating all in of itself 
Um, and it's just great. I loved it. I thought it was great. The actual stadium itself, or, or sort of venue, was oval shaped, and the seats inside matched that. They kind of spiraled outwards. It was really, really cool. And right in the centre was a, a harp, a harpist playing, and it was hooked up to the sound system. So it was, it was just fantastic. I loved it. The whole thing, the draping. The I love the silver metallics that was used in. I think it's the same fabric as this for the suiting. I thought that was super smart. The way it was done. It's just a retake on fabric use. There was also a. It looked like a two-piece uh, men's suit, but it was actually a jumpsuit. It was all one piece. I love things like that. Super tailored shoulders. Well, great job, Ferrari. Anyway, I'm done. Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna eat in the car because we've not eaten anything yet. And then I've got to go home and shoot like about five things between today and tomorrow. And later on is the Bali show. Oh, and I have a Max Mara Risi today. Okay, that's it. Bye. <laughs>